Today we are going to talk about AOB, overactive bladder, which is a condition that affects how often you urinate and your urgency. Like what's behind this condition and more importantly, we will discuss the best way possible to get it fixed and put it under control. Now millions of people, most especially women, have overactive bladder. And then just in US alone, more than 30 million people have overactive bladder. And the problem with this condition is that it can severely affect your quality of life as you may constantly find yourself in situations where you have this urgent and uncontrollable need to urinate, frequent involuntary loss of urine, you urinate more often, more than 8 times in 24 hours period and then you may have to be waking up several times in a night just to pee. And in some cases, the strong urge to urinate may result in leakage of urine even before getting to the restroom. All of these are the symptoms of overactive bladder, which can severely affect your quality of life. Now, the bladder is actually a muscle that collects urine from the kidney and releases urine. You have this muscle that makes up the bladder called the trussor muscle. It's a smooth muscle, and the function of this muscle is to contract and squeeze to empty the bladder during urination. Now, this whole process of urine elimination is primarily controlled by the parasympathetic nervous system, which functions to promote the contraction of this muscle. Now, people with overactive bladder have what is known as peripheral neuropathy or peripheral nerve damage. Now, when you have injuries or when you have damage to those neurons and the nerves that send signals from the bladder, that can result in hyper contraction of this muscle, which gives you the sensation of urgency even when your bladder is not full. Now, my biggest question is what actually contributes or causes peripheral neuropathy or peripheral nerve damage? And then, in one study, which I'm going to put the link down in the description below, 55% of people with diabetes type 2 actually have peripheral neuropathy or peripheral nerve damage. And then you don't just start by developing type 2 diabetes, it starts from something, right? So, it starts from insulin resistance, to pre-diabetes and finally to type 2 diabetes. So insulin resistance is the root cause of peripheral neuropathy because when you have insulin resistance, you are going to have high blood sugars which promote inflammation as well as nerve damage. Now when women are transitioning into the menopause stage, their estrogen level actually decreases and then beyond reproductive room, estrogen helps to regulate glucose metabolism as well as improving your insulin sensitivity. So when women are approaching this stage, their estrogen level tends to decrease and that can cause insulin resistance, high blood sugar, nerve damage and inflammation. All right. So this is one of the reasons why overactive bladder is more prevalent among women. All right. So other things that can contribute to overactive bladder is when you have head injury, brain tumor, Parkinson's diseases, multiple sclerosis and stroke. All right. Now, some foods and then some drinks can also worsen your bladder or irritate your bladder. You have food like sugar, carbonated beverages, caffeine, and also if you are sensitive to gluten, that can also irritate your bladder as well. All right. So now, how can we fix this condition, this condition of overactive bladder? Well, the best way possible to fix this condition is first of all by addressing the root cause, which is insulin resistance. Now, there are a couple of ways you can fix insulin resistance. I've actually made a comprehensive video on it. Make sure to check it out. But the first thing you need to do is you have to cut back on your carbohydrate intake. Bread, rice, pasta, cracker, cereals, and sodas. All of this, you have to reduce your intake. And also, you have to do intermittent fasting as well as physical activities like resistance training. All right? And then, I also recommend you start incorporating fiber into your diet as fiber helps to prevent constipation, which puts additional pressure on your bladder. And then oatmeal is a great source of fiber as well as gluten-free, all right? So now let's talk about the best nutrients to overcome these symptoms of overactive bladder. Now the best nutrient to fix overactive bladder and to overcome all of these symptoms is actually vitamin D and calcium. Now, the bladder is very sensitive to vitamin D deficiency. Now, this is because of the abundant distribution of the vitamin D receptors in the bladder. All right. So when vitamin D binds to its receptors in the bladder, 
it allows calcium to enter the muscle cells for contraction. But when you are deficient in vitamin D, that is going to result in abnormal contraction of this muscle. You are going to have hyper contraction, which is going to result in frequent elimination of urine. All of these symptoms, all right? So vitamin D and calcium actually work hand in hand. And in fact, vitamin D actually helps your body to pull up calcium from your diet. So vitamin D is very important for calcium absorption and retention. Now, if your child is also very deficient in vitamin D, that may also result in abnormal contraction of this muscle. I also want to mention that you may not start to see changes immediately and then you may have to wait about two to three months before you start seeing results, all right? So guys, I've actually made a video on some of the best nutrients to shrink an enlarged prostate. Make sure to check it out.